The functions that we add to our calculator are found under the Info drop-down menu Immediate Mode CAS Variables. Here we will click on Finite Math. The free and white do not have finance options, so what we have done is add these four functions to our calculator. Shown over here in our calculator is the simple interest formula and the compound interest formula which we have already added. We will now add the last two. Double click on Loan, Shift click, right click, copy, go over to our calculator, Control V, press Enter. Do the same process for IRA. Double click IRA, shift click, right click to copy, move over to our calculator, control V, press enter. Looking at our calculator we can see that these formulas are quite complex. We will use OneNote to discuss these formulas and their applications. One last thing, let's press the var command, the CAS button, hit the program button, and we see that we have compound interest, IRA, loan, and simple interest all added to our calculator. In this lesson, we will look at the future value of an annuity. We will deal with this formula and then use the formula two ways. In the forward direction, where we solve for A, and in the reverse direction, where we solve for R. Our business instructor used to tell students that you can't start too early with an IRA. Over here, we compare an IRA starting at 18 with an IRA starting at 28. We need to calculate how many years from 28 to 18, which was 10, and how many years from 65 to 28, which was 37. So when we look up here, we see the 10 and the 37 being used as parameters. To get these formulas, we go to the var command, we go to program, and we see that we have IRA as 2 and compound interest as 1. So we will be using both of these functions in our comparison. Escaping out of these menus, we work the IRA function and the compound interest function. When we're calculating the amount, we put the X in the first value. When we're calculating the payment, we put the X in the second value. We find that the value for a payment of $500 over 37 years at 6.25% compounded monthly is $867,764.42, which we can see in our calculator. What we need to do is compare at age 28 uh, IRA for 37 years with an IRA for 10 years at 18, and that amount being reinvested in compound interest for 37 years. Adding the 10-year IRA and the 37-year compound interest together, we see that we get over $916,000. This is more than this amount without payments from the time that we are 28 on. So this method is better. Let's go ahead and look at this problem in OneNote. If we highlight this particular problem and press math, we get a message in our math assistant that said this equation is too long for us to display. Also, if we try to convert this over, as we have done in other lessons, we find out that the answer turns out to be improper fraction with many digits that is not useful. This concludes our lesson on future value of an annuity.